again, this is Maris coming at you from Upper Mainline YMCA with another science experiment. Today we are going to be making a catapult. So as you can see, I've got a couple examples here. This one is pretty cool. This is just three clothespins stacked on top of each other, glued together and then glued onto this piece of wood. The holder right here is just the bottom of a plastic cup. It's been kind of cut and scored in different places so you can fit lots of different ammunition in there. Right now the ammunition is just this little styrofoam ball. So what happens in a basic catapult like this is when you pull back on these clothespins, you're creating stored energy here, right? So this is all potential energy. When you release your finger, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. So it's able to launch the ball across the room. Now, this is a really cool one. I definitely recommend testing out clothespins because they make really great launchers. But if you don't have clothespins, you can still make a catapult. All you need is some popsicle sticks, some tape, and then some kind of bottom of a cup. This is actually the bottom of a paper plate. So I've got some of my popsicle sticks here and I've got some tape as well. And really basic, simple design. You're going to take a stack of popsicle sticks. I would recommend to start between five and six popsicle sticks. The cool thing about this experiment is that you can really adjust it and make changes and truly experiment to see what the best catapult design is. Once you have your popsicle sticks stacked up, you're going to take some tape or whatever you have. You can use any kind of material that will help these stick together. You could glue them together, whatever you have. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape the two ends together so that the stack stays together. Again, if you have glue, go ahead and glue them all together. I will say the glue is going to take you a little bit longer, right? Because the glue is going to have to dry before you move on to the next step. So if you want this to be long lasting, maybe do glue in between the layers and then tape around the outside so that you can continue to build while they're gluing together. So I've got my stack here. Now all I'm going to need is two more popsicle sticks. I'm going to take them and basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to make a V with them, right? So you're trying to take them and make a V like this because this is going to become the launcher just like the clothespins are in this model. So you're gonna take your stack and you're gonna bring it down to the end so that you have your nice triangle just like this. You see our triangle here? And then what you can do is you can figure out the best way to tape this. What I typically have done in the past is I kind of make an X over the top here with tape and then I tape down here I tape these two little pieces together as well. So then you have your launcher. Now this one has been modified a little bit, right? So you can modify it in a lot of different ways to see what works best, what launcher is going to actually send your ammunition the furthest. But the idea is the same, right? When I pull down on this top popsicle stick, I am creating potential energy. And then when I release it, it's gonna use that potential energy to launch whatever we have in our container. So to make the container, what I did for this one is I just cut a circle out of a piece of paper plate, and then I kind of folded it in on itself to make it like this. Definitely the easiest way is if you have a little plastic cup that you can just cut the bottom off of. I'm sure there are lots of other ways you could do that. If you have Play-Doh, you could make a little Play-Doh holder. You could really go as wild as your imagination will take you depending on what materials you have. The great thing about this project is you can use really any materials. The basic concept, right, is you need to have some way to create potential energy that will then be released to shoot your ammunition. So you can do that in a lot of different ways. If you're interested in more of the science behind this, check out the description. And the description will also have details about how you can kind of adapt this and make this even go further than just the creation of the catapult. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, stay curious.